What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Eastside RC and TMR Performance. Today guys, we're going to go over the 5B's body from Mr. Ryan. He wanted to know how it goes together and while uh, I'm going to show you guys that on this simple, this simple video, um, I'll explain to you what I don't like about the buggy's body. <laughs> and also I'll show you guys what I've been up to. I've got the whole 5B uh, wasp all torn apart and I've been doing a mega spring cleaning on that bad boy and that sucker is getting a facelift. All right, check it out y'all. I got this from AliExpress. Dan does not sell this, uh, but he may in the future. This yellow, this is the yellow nylon kit, full suspension kit. Yeah, it's cool. Matches the rest of the stuff here that I did get from Roven RC here in the States. Now, if you guys know, this recognize this, this is my wasp. I, I, this is what I do every winter, okay? Every winter, I tear my cars apart that I've been running during the season of BRAP. I strip them all down completely and scrub everything back to like new again. All this, you know, these, take the bead locks off. The, these had grass all embedded in here real bad. You know, just these were filthy, just grass all up in here and, you know, all on the back of the wheel. You can see where some rocks got in there. Yeah, it just, uh, I cleaned them up as best I could to bring them back like new and I'm gonna fit everything with these uh, DDM bite lock screws. I'm gonna be doing a few upgrades to the Wasp as well. I'm gonna be fitting these, uh, these right here, these cracking hinge pins. These are real nice, my favorite. Cracking hinge pins there, very affordable. RC Max has some too, but they are quite costly, but they're titanium, so they are going to be more expensive. They're, man, they're nice, the, those are RC Max ones. Uh, we're going to be putting these on here because I'm not going to need these for my show build, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw them on the Wasp, and we're going to be fitting this RC Max titanium lay shaft and 7075 uh, lay shaft and hex nut in a king motor transmission for the wasp we're going to pull out the guts from the wasp's transmission and we're going to put this in there i believe i think i may i may go with the cracking one and use this for my show build <laughs> i'm i'm not sure yet but uh you know, we're going to fit the transmission up with this with these heavy duty goodies right here FLM Super Duty. Yep, five millimeter shafts or uh, drive pins. Yeah, good stuff. So, just gonna beef the wasp up because we're gonna be throwing some power at it, you know. Um, yes, sir. Now, I'll show you guys what. Here's the rest of the wasp. We are also going to uh, upgrade the wasp's chassis right here with this chassis that I got from Logan RC. There's the part number for that. 65650013. This is the, uh, what is this? This is the hard anodized chassis here because my stock chassis that I got from this used buggy was, was had somebody had, you know, hit a curb or something and didn't have the front brace on and tweaked it. So, let's see. I don't want to get y'all too busy. Now, upon taking the car apart, this is a reason I like to take the thing all apart. As I was taking apart, look what I found. A busted steering knuckle. So, I'm going to want to replace that. Yeah, I probably could fill it with JB Weld. Squeeze it back together. <laughs> but it'll just break again, so... That bashing and crashing, flipping and rolling, it did a couple, you know, a little bit more damage than I thought once I got digging into taking the whole car apart. Now, I bought this cool organizer, and this is what I like to do for my cars when I'm working on them. I put all the parts in here like this, and 
different bins and whatnot. And just throw that on the floor. I'm going to opt out for the back of the five B's uh, axle holders to these right here. These HPI 5SC type. I like them better. And let's see. Yep, all this will be changed to yellow. Unfortunately, I don't have the, these yellow. I should have given those in the kit. Somebody wasn't thinking. All right, and, and look, all this stuff. You can categorize all your stuff to help to make it easy, easier for you. Um, ultimately, I got this bin mainly for when I'm working on anybody else's cars. I can keep their stuff organized and locked away in here. But since I'm doing a spring cleaning on the Wasp and I've run out of video, I uh, had to delete all my old videos. I'm going to make a bunch of new videos for you guys of wrenching and putting the whole car back together. Yep. So that one was good. But yep, things break. Stuff happens. You know, it is what it is. There's my billet pieces down in there. This is a nice piece I like from Rovin. Um. The GBE one from DDM is my favorite because you can polish it and I just, I like the design of it. It reminds me of a, and this one does too, reminds me of a, of a dirt bike, uh, a four wheeler dirt bike motor mount is what it reminds me of. Because when you fit a four wheeler engine into a, a dirt bike engine into a four wheeler, you have to have a special motor mount kit. And I remember my buddy having one that looked similar to this. So when I seen it from my RC cars, I had to have it for every single RC car I own. That's a Baja. <laughs> so, yep, organize your stuff, man. It's real nice. Keep everything organized up. There's the transmission and everything. I'm going to be taking this all apart. And uh, the bad knuckle. Yep. Cleaned everything all up. Look, missed a spot. <laughs> she was dirty, man. That wasp got hammered. That's for sure. All right, Ryan, the buggy body. First thing you want to do is install this piece right here. And that goes right up in the front, obviously. Then you want to put this piece in the back. If you want to use this, this is the piece I don't like about the 5B, all right? If you're running in gravel, which you shouldn't really run in gravel, but, you know, sometimes you just want to go down a rock road. So if you do ride in gravel or you're in dirt that has a lot of gravel, then this is a good idea to, to, uh, to, to run this. If you're running in straight up dirt, with gravel, then I recommend this piece right here. But if you are running in fields like I run and ripping through the grass, this right here is nothing but a grass catcher, all right? That's a bird nest maker is what that thing is. So you put this thing on, it's just, you know, simple. It's very, very simple. You just fit it into the three holes underneath the chassis, slide it forward, pop it up into the back, and it fastens right there with a little clip. And then you have a little button that is in this piece right here. See right there? That fits right into here. And then this piece here is attached and comes off of this piece right here. Like so, see? That piece right there, you can set that, that's your preference you can put that wherever you want wide you know depending on your pull start however however you want to do it so yeah it's as simple as that and then you just you know you just fit this over here just like that spread it apart and put it on both sides and easy peasy lemon squeezy all right so that's it. Man, you guys see on Ben, the sweaty potato of my RC, he painted his pipe. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to get the green, the green paint, the green anodized coat. Whoa. And uh, <laughs> I don't have this fastened down because I don't want to mess up my 
paint job on the chassis. <laughs> uh, it'll be messed up and knock it down. That's all right. I'll fit it with an IRC one. So, yep, I'm going to paint this with the green paint, probably. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do it. And these two, you know, why not? Why not? I like this buggy, man. This, this thing turned out nice. It really did. Yes, sir. Well, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Eastside RC and TMR Performance is out. Mm -hmm.